Greetings and welcome to Abandoned Ship. I'm Catherine of Sky, and I hope you all remember the combat demo that I was able to play for you guys uh, a little while back. Now the game is entering early access today on Steam and we have a huge, huge world to explore. So I'm really thrilled about that. I've played a little bit of a test game just to get my feet wet, so to speak. Um, and so we'll be having a nice sale, hopefully, and not get killed. <laughs> but anyway, also great thanks to Fireblade Software for giving me a key to this game uh, so I could play it for you all. We're going to start a brand new um, story. This is the kind of a campaign. So we'll go, let's go this way. Um, and the new game name, we're going to just call it My my YT Adventure, because I'm going to be playing this on YouTube. This is kind of like a file name of what we're going to call our thing. We have tutorials. I think we'll keep them on just so I can make it easier to um, hopefully explain how things work. Uh, difficulty, we have a choice between easy, normal, and hard. And it says affects the rewards received from events, including combat. Uh, easy difficulty provides a bonus. Hard. Uh, a penalty is given. Normal has neither a bonus or penalty. Um, what I've seen is the game is pretty difficult even on normal. Uh, random events can really make your life difficult. So we're going to keep it on normal uh, and call that good. Player generated names. If you sign up for the Abandoned Ship newsletter, your name will be put into the game. Um, so we're going to keep those on and see if there's anyone we recognize. And then, of course, there's a world seed. I guess you can edit this if you wanted to. Let's go and play and see what troubles we can get into. A wild chorus, the birth of a monster. In that moment, the final strand is cut, a burst of clarity. The horror of your recent existence dawns upon you. Escape is all you can think of. The tentacles flail wildly in the water. People drop to their knees, some through fear, others with adulation. Their god is manifest. You watch from your position of privilege on a private balcony. You notice your two bodyguards are distracted and enraptured. Strike them down. Flee this accursed place. Instinctively grabbing something, you smash it down on the head of the first guard. Shocked surprise registers on the second before he too is down. You are unsure whether they are dead or unconscious. You feel a drip from your fingers. You look down at your improvised weapon, a small idol of father. It is cracked and has cut your hand. You're drifting, but something inside snaps you back to reality. You have to move fast. The cells offer the safest route to freedom. Let's flee. You stride into the prison with feigned authority. No matter, the place is unguarded in our no their moment of triumph. Escaping alone would be futile, so you grab the keys from the guard room and approach the prisoners. Who will you unlock first? All right, so we are at a point where we need to choose our crew for the ship. And it's pretty important uh, to choose people with uh, skills that we want. I want to choose first a gunner. Expert at reloading weapons will be able to kill enemy ships faster because they... Um, charge the guns much faster. So that's definitely first unlock. Uh, as you see over here, we have two slots left. All right, who are we going to release next? Um, the navigator gets a bonus to performing ship maneuvers. That's how close or far we are from the enemy ships. Um, but I am the captain and I have two skill points in every single thing. So I'm, I don't know if I should choose that or something else. I would like to choose a marine because they are trained melee fighters useful for boarding actions and killing people. Uh, so yeah, let's unlock them. The surgeon can heal crew. I don't think the surgeon is very necessary initially because we're not going to be getting into many situations where we need a mobile person healing people. And then there's the sailor. Repairs the ship at a faster rate. I'm so tempted to get the sailor, though I could use my captain to do that and walk around and do other things. Maybe I should keep my captain as a, a person who can do the repairs and also man the extra guns, and I will hire a navigator. I think we'll try this comp for then, for now. All right, let's continue. You and your new companions surge through the labyrinthine passages. Finally, a door. Light seeps in through the cracks in the frame. Burst through the door. You close your eyes for a moment as the sea breeze brushes your face. Looking down the winding path ahead, you see what you'd hoped for, a ship at anchor. It was likely stolen and repurposed by the cult. Time to put it to better use. 
Let's continue. All right. Wow. Select a crew member by left clicking them. Okay, so this is the tutorial and we're just going to kind of follow uh, it along as we go. You left click the crew member and, uh, and then right click to move them. You can also drag a box around several, like kind of like an RTS, and then right click to move them to where we want them to go. Okay, that's that uh, situation. Now we're gonna cut the ropes. Uh, to free our ship. So you go over there, you can go over here, and you'll see the icon, the little cross swords icon, indicating there's like a special action you can perform there. All right, now man the ship's wheel to make good your escape. Let's choose the navigator, he can go there. All right, go for it, let's go. Get out of here, we need to leave. <laughs> we are free from the cultists, hooray! Dozens of furious cultists charge the jetty as you pull away, a high priest at their head. His scream reaches your ears and drips with scorn. Heed me, betrayer. Our father knows and sees you always. You will never escape his embrace. As he speaks, the other cultists disperse, no doubt to begin their pursuit in their own vessels. They'll be sending ships after us. Let's get out of here. Okay. The coastal fortifications open fire on the ship as it leaves the jetty. Mortar shells incoming. Okay, I don't want all my people in the same spot. It's good that they're spread out. Wow, oh my goodness, there we go. A mortar shell has reduced a crew member to zero health. When this happens, you have a short time to stabilize them. When a crew member is stabilized, they will remain unconscious throughout the battle, but will survive. If you do not stabilize them in time, they will die. But don't worry, in this one instance, we will freeze the bar before it runs out. All right, so we need to stabilize the crew member. We're gonna send a crew member to help him. Right click on him with the heart icon there. Uh, and then, and it says surgeons will stabilize much faster than regular crew members. The barrage has damaged the ship hull, and the bottom left of the screen is a bar that shows the hull health. That's this one. If this bar is emptied, then the ship will sink. Uh, the ship is divided into sections. In the bottom right, uh, the sections and their individual health are displayed. Section health influences influences the performance of everything in that section. Yellow health means it's 50%, like this one, 50% effective. Red health means it won't function at all. So that's not great. Okay, so we are having one guy and he's repairing the mast right now. Let's get the captain to um, fix up the sick base station. Actually, I should get this guy to fix it here. I'll get him to fix the sick base station. He can heal himself as well. Okay, and yes, you can send a crew to the medical table by right-clicking on it. Okay, great. Okay, and they're still fixing things up. It's not over yet. Take cover. All right, let's move the captain out. I don't want them all in the same zone so they don't get all hit uh, directly. Oh my goodness, this is bad. Okay. Hello tutorial. We've been hit by a weapon that causes hull cracks. These splinter the deck and make the ship take on water. There's a water gauge above the hull health. That's this one at the top here. If this reaches the top, the ship will sink. This will warn you when your water gauge has reached critical levels. The bell will also sound when your hull health is dangerously low. Act decisively when you hear the bell or you may sink. All right. You go here and fix this. You go here and fix that. By the way, you cannot repair general hull health. You can only repair things um, like the cannons and whatnot. Um, if you need to repair your hull, you have to go to a port and they can repair it. But otherwise, on the on the ocean, you can't do anything about that. So you have to be real careful about your forays into the unknown. All right, emptying the water gauge. Right, you can lower the water level by manning the pumps at the back of the ship. Okay, so let's get two guys to do this. You guys go ahead. And then the water gauge, you'll notice, goes down very swiftly once we have both pumps running. Okay, great. We're nearly out of range. One more barrage incoming. Okay. Oh, dear. Ooh, these are fires. That's not good. We've been struck by a weapon with flaming ammunition and a fire has broken out. Okay, fires damage sections and injure crew. They will spread unless your crew extinguish them. All right, so let's grab our guys and use the bucket of water icon here. Yeah, just make sure you kind of move the mouse around to get the correct icon because otherwise this guy could have been manning the, uh, the navigation uh, console here. Well, console, the wheel, <laughs> they call it. 
We're out of range, but stay alert, men. Okay, great. So we're going to click on the highlighted button to go to the exploration map. We're going to leave combat. That's this button here. Okay, we are on a map. We're on a real map now. All right, we are in great danger when you're so close to the cult place. Leave immediately. This is exploration mode. You move your ship by clicking on an area, and you can hold down the mouse button to kind of go around there. And you can see the whole map by clicking this thing. So we are in a great framed portrait. It's pretty darn cool, I think. All right, this is the map of the immediate area. If you wish to travel to a new area, you must move through the gate that has been highlighted at the bottom of the screen. The other gates cannot be opened yet. Okay, so we'll kind of go in a roundabout way, I think. So we'll go back to our regular map. So one of the inspirations for this game was uh, oil paintings of uh, old old oil paintings of ships at sea, and here you can absolutely see that literal influence. The colors are so beautiful, and the uh, the the border of the map is literally surrounded by a gilded frame. It's quite beautiful, um, so so lovely, very very pretty. Okay, so we're looking around. I don't think we're any in any immediate danger just yet, so we can kind of. This is still the tutorial, so we're gonna just take advantage of tutorialness, because I happen to know that you can find some cool stuff. So here's one of the gates. This these gates are really cool. I like them. They very much remind me of uh, Clash of the Titans, uh, the old claymation version where they they release the kraken. And, uh, and it looks, it's, it's like these gigantic gates, um, and we'll see them open and close and they're just, they're just awesome to watch. But yeah, that, uh, that's really cool. These, look at the sea, the color of it. It's just so pretty. Let's see what else there might be on this map. There's little islands everywhere. We can't, I don't think we can land at an island until we have a port there. So we're not going to be able to land anywhere here yet. Um, but I'm looking for goodies. Like sometimes there's uh, little barrels floating in the sea and they give you some money. That's what I'm kind of looking for at the moment. So we can get a better heads up uh, or leg up, I should say, not a heads up, um, uh, when we start improving our ship. Is there one on this map? Hello? Come on, give me free money. <laughs> give me prizes. I want. Uh, we are not in any... Ah, there we go. That's what I was looking for. There we go. So there's a little barrel here, and you right-click on it and grab it up. 20 money. It's not too bad. Not too bad at all. So now we can go down and um, back to the over here. This gate is locked. Locked gates can be opened by completing a set number of events. Okay, so this is not... Okay, left-click on it to sail to it. This will trigger the event. Patrolling cult ship has stumbled upon us. Man the guns. We owe them no mercy. All right. So remember the lessons you have learned so far. Man the cannons facing the enemy. One crew member can man an entire battery of cannons. Uh, left click, click the crew member um, and right click to man them. All right. So we're going to use this guy here for now. And I think we'll also get this guy. He actually, our captain is going to be better at this. We'll have this guy doing some miscellaneous tasks, possibly manning this weapon here if we have one. Nope, won't let us. All right, weapons will reload if someone is manning them and the section health is not in the red. Keep the man cannons manned until the reloading bar turns blue. Okay. So it does take time for each person to load the cannons and get things ready. So you can see on the left, these icons that pop up show you the range for each of the weaponry that you can use to attack the enemy ship. All right, so now we need to open fire. We're gonna click on this and then right click uh, on our target. Okay, so we need to go there and again there. We're just gonna just bombard them like crazy. Boom. And of course we can pause uh, the game with a spacebar. All right, once you dismiss this message, you can issue orders while the game is paused. Okay, great. So for now, okay, and they're talking about the crew specialties here. You can hover over the different um, people with their icons and learn what they're they're better at. Okay, so you go up there, please. Can we do that? Not yet. All right, we want to get close to the enemy ship. You can set your target distance by clicking on the arrows. So getting closer 
uh, our blue ship is getting closer to the red ship. All right, so the enemy wants to keep their distance from us and are moving away. So you can see the little arrow up here indicating they're going further. So we're gonna use the chain shot to destroy their sails. So this is what this guy is gonna do. I'm gonna send our Marine to load the chain shot and, uh, and then hopefully destroy their sails, uh, which will impact their ability to move faster. Now we gotta keep um, a watch on our mast because right now, it is getting low. Um, the one thing that we can do is these guys, the cannons will keep on firing at the same target you set them initially, but things like the chain shot and the grape shot, you have to manually target each time. I'm not sure why that is, um, because this one you could keep shooting at the same. The grape shot you would have to aim for, that's the anti-personnel gun. But chain shot, you should be able to, to kind of set it and forget it, you know? All right, so we gotta keep on, okay. Right click, keep firing until they're damaged into the red. They might repair it, so that would not be good, but here we go. Let's keep on damaging them. There we go, there we go. Now, as we get closer, their sails kind of disappear, but um, they're, now they're really gone. <laughs> okay, now that we're at close range, we can use the swivel gun. So let's get you manned over here. This is grape shot. It's anti-personnel. Man it fully and get it loaded. All right, oopsies, we have problems. Let's get our captain to repair this. He has two, two points and skills in everything. So wait for him to finish. Okay. We'll just wait for this one to be ready. All right, Captain, go over there, please. You keep on charging that one. All right. Now then. Okay. Now we can use this one and then just get them. They're all in the same circle. Right click. And there we go. Dead. -ed. Very, very close to dead. Okay, can we get closer? Let's ram the enemy. You can perform special maneuvers like this when the maneuver bar is full. That's at the bottom here. The maneuver bar is charged when someone is manning the helm. Someone with high navigation skill will fill up the bar faster. That's our navigator here. So we need to wait for that to happen. Okay, and it's gonna give us the ram option, I hope. Okay. All right, now the bar is fully charged and maneuvers become available. All right, so we're gonna ram the enemy hull. So ramming damages the enemy hull and they can be initiated if someone is manning the wheel. So let's click this. We're gonna get real close and comfortable there. One moment, certain actions like ramming cause a brace for impact test. Failing the test means crew fall to the deck, temporarily interrupting what they're doing. When a brace occurs, the highlighted button will become active. Press it in time or you will fail the test. All right, as it's your first time, we'll let you press the button now. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> okay. All right, there we go. Boom. The enemy failed their brace test. The impact even caused one of their crew to be knocked overboard. You can man the winch at the back of the ship to save them. This is the winch here. If they don't make it in time, the, the, that person will drown. Your own winch is highlighted. All right, we need to... Okay, now finish them off. You can pull back and keep shitting or even choose to board them. You can triumph by killing all of the enemy crew, destroying the hull, or make it, making it take on too much water. Okay, so we need to dictate the battle. All right, I think we'll board them, because why not? Let's go and kill this guy. Come on, let's go. Jump. Go, go, go. Kill the guy. Kill this guy now. And this guy hopefully will drown. Go, go, go. Come on. All right. We'll let that guy stay in the water there. Because he's going to be dying anyway. So we're going to just get healed up. Okay, and we're good. We're pretty much done. All right. At the end of the battle, you are able to salvage anything of that value. In this tutorial combat, the enemy did not react as aggressively as they would normally, so be prepared for a tougher fight next time. All right, grab what you can and be quick about it. More ships will be on their way. Okay, you don't have to worry about repairing or healing at the end of a battle. This happens automatically when you go back to the exploration map. As long as you have water pumps, going back to the exploration mode will automatically empty your water gauge too. That's very handy. Okay, let's leave combat. Go further. Gates, aren't they cool? 
the gates are cool. All right, we're gonna go somewhere. Now, this is the world map and it is extensive. There are all kinds of places to go. The cold sea, the haunted sea, north and remnant silent sea, frozen wastes, the uncharted cult islands, sea of serpents, shattered empire, cannibal island, sea of sorrow, forsaken seas, lands and the wild sea. There are many places there. I know that there is like a, like a volcanic area too. I'm not sure, but we are going to um, hopefully explore a great number of these. All right. This is the world map. It shows which other exploration areas you can travel to from your current area. So you can travel between maps. Uh, travel between maps has a supplies cost. That's going to be, I think our fish cost here. So left click on another map to see your destination. So at first I thought these were those, but they're not. They really are not. Um, those are closed routes to us. So this is the only open route. So we're going to click here. It gives us a nice flashing icon that we can see. You announce to the crew that you need to take stock and are not to be disturbed. In the captain's cabins, you find some clean clothes, most likely belonging to the poor previous occupant before the cult had their way with the ship. It feels good to finally be out of your flowing ceremonial robes. You stow them neatly away, knowing you may yet have their use. All right. You don't even recognize the face looking back at you. Who are, were you? All you're certain of is that your past was stolen away by a being you know as father. Some spark within you pierced the fog of your blind devotion. Now you must kindle it if you're to have any chance of remaking yourself. Then the hunt for answers and revenge can begin. Right, so we can choose our captain here. Uh, right now, it looks like female gender is not available, so we'll just be male. I think instead of calling ourselves the severed one, I'll call ourselves Sky, since we're a male here. Would hardly do to call him Catherine. Uh, and then there's different skin tones that you can choose. All right, I like the dark one. That's looking good. All right, you are the severed one. Once devotion to father was all the future you needed. Now something has changed. You are no longer an unquestioning, crucial part of the whole. Now you are severed and free. And you can edit names in the crew management menu. So we're going to be Captain Sky. Uh, we'll say confirm. You reemerge onto the deck and the crew snap to attention. We may have escaped, you begin, but we are not yet safe. We must make port, then go our separate ways. It's me thereafter. You return to your cabin and slump into a chair. Moments later, a strong undercurrent of exhaustion pulls you into a deep sleep. Still loved and always in his thoughts, you were the first. But he knew something within you had changed. Thus, you were marginalized, became a symbolic icon with no real power. You didn't care. Something in you was gaining strength. Little by little, the fog was clearing. Wow, kind of creepy. A sharp knock on your door snaps you awake. Moments later, you stride back on deck to issue commands. The cult fortress is far from inhabited lands. We'll need to navigate through open waters before we can find a port. Okay. Okay, let's click on the map. Okay, we need to click here. This is our ship. This is the lone ship view. It allows you to change your default settings that will be used in combat. Right, we've been waiting for this. So preferred distance. I think I'd like to be like two away from the enemy generally. And we can save the positions we want our crew in. All right, so here we're going to have our, our main gunner is going to be here. I think the captain gunner is going to be there. And I think we'll have this guy on this, the sail shot, the, the chain shot for now. So we can save them here, and then we can press this button to send them back to uh, where they go. Okay, the highlighted button can be used to bring the ship about. Uh, that's this one here. In battle, this can only be performed if your maneuver bar is fully charged. Here you can set your preferred side to face the enemy when you start a battle. This can be useful if you equip each side of your ship with different styles of weapons, such as one being short range and the other with long range weapons. This is going to be really important, I think, uh, in the playthrough to make sure that we have the um, items aligned on the correct sides and be able to uh, um, get ships... Uh, covered from either distance. Okay, let's go back to map view here. You must continue trying to escape the cult by fleeing from this exploration map. Locate the exit gate and complete the required number of events to unlock it. Alright. 
Uh, right, we are in escape danger mode. Let's look at the picture here. Ah, okay, so we're going to the right somehow. Um, this is interesting. It really is random. In my test game, I played a map and it was kind of like green orange ish, uh, the, the water. So this is like purple, pinky, really pretty. Jeez Louise, so cool. I love the, the graphics. It's just like, wow. It's like an oil painting come to life. Okay, let's go toward that. Um, there's birds too. Look at that. Okay, I can't zoom in or out. There's fish. I think those are, are those fish? I think they're fish. Nice. All right, so here is our Znok. We need four Znoks to open the gate. Uh, so let's find some stuff that needs doing. Probably battles with uh, with the cult. Okay, here we have a sea monster. We can probably look. Oh, oh, here's a prize. We'll take free money. Yes. All right. Should we be brave and go for the monster? Let's do that. We will go here. Your current bearing leads to a head-on clash with a flying vessel cult colors. Um, could bring the ship about. You survey your crew and they work like a well-oiled machine and allow yourself a moment of pride despite the danger. The wave crash ex waves crash excitedly about the deck as your ship catches the wind and you pull rapidly away. The cultists make to follow, but it's a token effort. All right, so we were not damaged there. That's good. All right, let's go down and find if there are any events. Is there any in the area we've already explored? don't see any. Oh, we got one of four completion. That's good. All right, let's just go in a systematic fashion. Look at how pretty these greens are. Wow. All these. Oh, here's another thing. Let's see what this is. A long formation of ships of the line indicate a prominent cult fleet. One of the smaller ships peels off to investigate you more closely. There are so many. We leave now and fast while we still have the chance. Cult ship is either brave or stupid, but either way, none of the other ships from the fleet have joined its assault. Oops, we have a battle. Right. Okay, so we're doing well so far. We have got our cannons. Let's choose a cannon target. So toward the back is going to be their cannons. We can't really see them very well, but I think we'll just aim for here for now. And hopefully we can get them down. Okay. There we go. Get the sails damaged. Very important to keep on doing that. Oh my god, is that fiery stuff? Boy, that looked bad. Okay. Navigator's still navigating. Come on, guys. Keep going. Keep shooting at them. I even want to get a little bit closer. Bring us closer, navigator. Go, go, go. Oopsies. I wonder if that's a real thing. Like, if we're moving when they shoot, will it actually sort of halfway miss? Maybe. Okay, they're trying to keep their distance now. We gotta keep on getting their sails deleted as best as possible. I want to get close enough that I can use the grape shot to pick them off. Uh, one at a time there. We are really damaging their ship, though. We're doing pretty well with that. Alright, there we go. Doing well. Sails. Go. Oh, wow. They're in the red now. Okay, guy. Uh, go over here. Charge this one up. Come on. Okay, we are actually hurting the crew as well now. Oh, and their sails are back up. We're not going to get a shot off on them, so let's go and damage the sails again. Um, looks like we're doing okay. There's no real hull ruptures at the moment. Keep on going. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Fire. Yes. Okay. Keep on going. 
keep in mind that uh, even though the combat seems a little slow at the moment, we're still kind of in the tutorial phase of the game, so don't let that distract you. Okay, we have destroyed their ship. Excellent. Boom. There it goes. Continue. All right, the crew uh, come eagerly through the debris for anything of value. One of them nearly falls overboard, but is hauled back by his cackling mates. All right, plus 20 money, which is not a lot of money. All right, let's leave combat. Get out of here. Hopefully we can um, see what else we need to do. Let's go around this way. Wow, God, the colors are so beautiful. <laughs> this is such a, a lovely, lovely thing. Yeah, there are also, I have read and seen, there are, there are different environments that you can explore with different environmental hazards, uh, like lightning and volcanic ash and icebergs, all kinds of stuff that we need to deal with as we journey along. Okay, we need some more Znox. We need two more Znox. Sometimes going around this is like, I almost feel like I'm playing Civilization where I used to go around uh, the, the boundaries of the world with one ship <laughs> because you could do that around the picture frame. A small speck on the horizon and it's moving. You sense the foul energies of the cult long before you confirm their flying colors. It's headed toward the cult fortress, so you doubt it has business tracking you down. Oh, that's it? Oh, nope. You drop to your knees. Feels like a lightning storm inside your skull, and you sense a massive, ancient intelligence emerging from it. Scanning the horizon, you see an unnatural disturbance in the water. It's approaching fast. Full speed ahead. Where is it? Oh my god, there it is. Oh no! You can't avert your eyes as the royal closes the distance. Whatever it is will be upon you in mere moments. Okay. The Kraken. You're not prepared to fight such a beast. Uh, fight it off and flee, or you're not prepared to best such a beast. When your maneuver bar is full, press the flee button. Okay. We literally cannot do anything against this guy but flee, so we're gonna just try to hold things together and... Um... God, that's scary. Look at this. Ugh, tentacles. Oi! Oh, there they come. Oh! All right, sever the tentacles that bind the ship. Let's get each of our guys to sever a tentacle. Here, you go to this one, please. But I don't think we can even fire. Yeah, we can't, we can't fire at this guy at all. All right, we're working on fleeing. I'm going to leave the guys where they are. I think they should be fine since we can't use any of our cannons or anything against it. Oh, look at this. There's a health bar for the Kraken up there, I guess. I wonder if one day we'll be able to fight it, maybe with some special weapon or something. Boy, this is scary. God. Okay, there it goes again. Ow, ow, ow. Man, that hurt my head. All that cracking of my poor beautiful ship. All right, we'll hurt it enough. Now flee before it attacks again. Yes, click the button. It takes a while to flee. Hopefully it can't get us again, but we'll see. Huh. There it comes. There it comes. All right, it's going to hit us again, I think, before we can flee. Yep, our, our flee thing stops while it's attacking us. Oh my goodness. Oi, that hurt. Oi, oi, oi. Okay, let's get everybody fighting tentacles. There we go. There we go. All right. There we go. Finally, out of range. Whew, that was scary. <laughs> You've wounded the creature and escaped. Somehow you feel in your bones that the Kraken will need time to recuperate before it resumes the hunt. You should not dally. Okay. We've got three of four. This is a very handy little gauge, I think. Shows you where the um, where the gate is, and it shows you how many um, snocks you've unlocked, which is really nice. 
You don't have to go and sail all the way over there just to check it. Okay. Where, what else are we going to find? We're going to find a proper battle or what? Let's see. I have to say it really is randomized. On my test game, I, uh, I had to fight four different ships. Uh, fight them, fight them, not escape from them. <laughs> it was kind of interesting. Okay. Where is there another Znock? Did I miss something? Oh, there's one right here. Okay, let's... Oh, another monster. The tension on deck strings more to the dregs... More than the dregs of a rum ration. Two cult ships have been spotted in the mid-distance, moving to trap you. Alright, we can blitz the closest ship or get the ship turned around. Hmm. Let's, uh... Let's blitz the closest ship. Let's have a bit of a battle. Okay, we have our people manning the stations. We're good. Let's get closer. If we can. And we will also set up the... It's so, so hard to see where the cannons actually are there. Let's shoot there. Oopsies. They delayed too long. There we go. Here, let's get this. Sails. Go, go, go. Wow. All right. Oh, we have a hull crack. Let's get the captain out here to deal with this. And then this guy can start... Ah, he can pump the water in a second. It's not really that necessary. Okay, go back to the cannons, please. All right, firing at will. Sails again. Boom. Ah, we're getting closer. A little bit. Boy. Looks like our sick bay is ill. <laughs> so that's not functioning that well. I feel like. I don't feel like I need to. Uh, fix it right now at the moment. Mm. All right, keep on shooting. All right, now I think I want to hit the sails one more time. Yeah, they're gonna they're gonna go away from us shortly. Oops. Okay, Captain, let's fix that, please. Sails. I think I'll put this guy on these cannons for now. Okay. Boy. That's not great. Keep on going. Just destroy that ship, please. Let's just... Delete these cannons there. Oh, now he's fixing this. I don't really want him to do that. I'd rather have him kill people. That would be handy. Um, Alright, so he's going to start charging this gun here. Boy. Well, that didn't work well. Okay. We are taking on a little bit of water. Which is not great. Okay, go and man the, the grape shot. There we go. Let's see if we can damage as many people as possible here. Nice. It was a good shot. Really good shot there. Hello, Araminta. Greetings. Yes, my sweet girl. Yes, you're looking very cute over here. Hello. Hello. There you go. Okay, again. Okay, that guy's running for the sick bay. So getting hit it's getting him away from his job at the very least. Alright, let's get out of here. Okay, boom. Nice, nice job. Ooh, we were taking on quite oh my gosh, there's this uh, situation here that developed. I didn't even notice that. My cat got in front of me. <laughs> I know it's no excuse. It's okay though. It'll be fine. Alright. Okay, let's make a brace. Let's go. Okay, leave combat. Wow, there's no time to gather your plunder for the second ship is upon you. 
Uh, will you stand and declare for double the riches or flee? Let's go. Let's just hit them hard. Why not? I think we'll be good with this. We have not a lot of health, but we should be okay. <laughs> Maybe this was not the best decision. Let's see. Let's see what we can do here. Let's go closer. Okay, let's make sure. I want to fire. Let's fire at the mast. I've been firing at the cannons, but that doesn't seem to do that much damage. But if we can get them, um, their navigation damage, that would be even better for us, I think. Come on. Boom. Whoopsie. Okay, our hull is in the red, which is not great. Okay. It's okay that we're not having a dire emergency, which is good. Okay, now their their mass is getting in the red, which is great for us. Okay, we can just keep on firing. We're not quite in range of the grape shot yet, which is unfortunate. Okay, let's send our captain to repair the mast of our ship, or else we're not going to catch up any faster either. And then we'll send you here, please. Because these are far better for destroying hull integrity. Okay, now we're moving really close. Boom. Okay. Anything else we need to repair? No, we're good. Okay. Alright, we're just gonna try to kill them off or injure them at the very least. Come on, guys, a couple more shots and that should do it. We really didn't take that much damage here. There we go. Boom. Very, very nice. Very nice. We get double the plunder. Excellent. We'll be singing songs of this day for a while, lads. And there is more than enough salvaged booty, yes, including grog, to go around. Okay, we got 35 money and 30 fish. Sounds good to me. All right, let's leave combat. Now we can escape through the gate, I think. We got four of four events unlocked. Let's look and see if we have any other things. Nope, and I was also looking for any unexplored areas to see if we might find more floating barrels or anything like this. Let's go and see the next section. Okay. Oh, it's up there. Okay, I lost track. Look at this. This is so cool. It's like a gilded frame. This is great. Just great. There we are. Okay, we'll move on to the next uh, area. Now the danger is past. The crew bombard you with questions. You feel responsible and share what little you know. That creature, the cult worship it, is part of what they call the Great Project. You refocus your efforts on reaching port as quick as quickly as humanly possible for their sake and yours yeah let's go let's uh, get there the dull ache in your head recedes slightly and you realize you can't remember a time without it you feel more like yourself again and wonder what it will take to banish the ache entirely the charts you found in the captain's cabin show a nearby port land safe from that infernal monster the gates are closing. I love that they have this like squeak. Look at this beautiful like roiling waters. It's incredible. Just so cool. 
Man, this looks great. Very tumultuous. Kind of like a stormy sea, and the color is this deep blue gray. Alright, let's go and kind of explore this whole area. We need to find the port. Just kind of go around and. Well, we can go between those, that's nice. Oh, hey, hey, treasure, yay! It's a little bit of money. So we have, whoa, more! Excellent! Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. making our, our money go up. That is very valuable um, because it costs money, we know, to hire crew and also to uh, buy upgrades for our ship. I'm hoping they'll have the right kind of things that I want. Uh, during the combat demo, we got to try out a number of different weapons, and there were some that were really powerful, so I'm hoping to kind of find uh, those. Of course, they're kind of random, whatever they sell in each port, so we just have to be lucky. Look at the canvas texture. It's so good. <laughs> I love that. It's so good. Nice. It's like somebody painted this. Oh, man. I just love the visuals here. Okay, uh, lots of islands, but nothing with a port yet. Nothing at all. Let's go down this way. We don't want to miss anything. Just want to make sure and cover every inch and just see what's here. Okay. Let's see. Is there anything down this way? Nope. Don't see anything yet. Look at the way that the waves just crash into the rocks there. It's pretty wild. Okay, so there's a little bit of space here. Okay, oh, there's some more floating debris. All right. Oh, that's a big island. Oh, there's a port there. Okay, let's finish exploring while we now that we found our port. We have so little left. Okay, and I think that's it. All right, let's go to the port. Once the ship is docked, the crew are seemingly reluctant to part ways. After all, they would all be still be prisoners of the cultist or worse without you. You suggest a farewell drink in their nearest tavern. The first round is solemn, each unable to stop dwelling on their own morbid thoughts. Another round. The drinks flow and the tension eases. As another empty tankard is banged on the table, the crew make life pledges to you. You manage to secure a cheap room with plenty of beds upstairs. Once you've slept it off, you can all part ways. Your head aches more than it should, and unease creeps through your body. Heavy mead is a different story to ceremonial wine. Another round. Shanties and ballads are butchered, feet and... Uh, occasionally bodies shackle, shake the tabletops. Just your typical evening in a dockside grog hole. Alright, pour my next one on the ground, lads. I'm taking off. Tentacles grasping from every angle. No escape. They predict your every movement, attracting, attracted unerringly to you like a compass to polar north. Wrapping slowly around you, they pull you inexorably down. Down, down, deeper and deeper. You jolt awake, clammy, head pounding. The rum? Surely. Yet it feels more familiar than that, more insidious. Something within you cries out, and then so do you. An incohead scream. Your crew stir from their beds just as the door flies off its hinges, two shadowed forms crossing the threshold. To arms! Luckily, none of your crew were hurt. The pain in your head subsides. The two corpses are Halifron, a nightmarish conjoining of man and sea creature. Superstitious folk tales made real. You've seen them here before. Uh, you've seen them before, but the crew clearly never imagined they would. Downstairs, the innkeeper is dead. The first hint of dawn looms upon the horizon. Slip warily through the streets, back to the ship. In your cabin, angry discussion rages about the Halifron while you sit silent in contemplation. You know in your heart of hearts that hiding is pointless. Land offers no haven. The cult will not rest until they have you. 
and all freemen under their yoke. This is a problem only solved by shot, steel, and willing hearts. Your best and only chance is to strike a crippling blow to the cult, to kill the Kraken. Tell them what you know. The crew stop and listen intently when you speak up. You explain that the Halifron have always been out there, unseen and preying on those who stray too close to the water alone at night. You tell them of your headaches and how you feel there is some connection between those creatures, the Kraken, and yourself. Tell them of your intention to fight. Your plan to go on the offensive, to cut the head off the sea snake, is met with a mixture of admiration and amusement. These, they are not the heroes of old, hunting mythological sea monsters. You cannot force them to join you on what may be a suicide mission, and despite their regret, they leave. Well, that's not good. It's just you now. You have little time to prepare for your mission. Your first step is to visit the shipwright before recruiting some crew. Perhaps coin will buy greater loyalty. All right, the shops where you can purchase new weapons and upgrades, obtain supplies, and repair your ship or purchase a new one. Golden supplies are over here. You can repair your hull by clicking those buttons. Your hull can only be repaired in port. On this occasion, we have repaired your hull for free. All right, purchasing weapons, right? Then you just kind of click and drag. Okay, we, they want us to purchase a mortar, whether we like it or not. There it goes. <laughs> All right, and you can sell weapons by dragging them over here. Increasing cannons, you can increase the number of cannons in the battery, so let's just click this one. More cannons equals more damage. All right, if you want a reminder of the weapons on your ship, hover your mouse over an occupied slot, and a tooltip will explain what it is. All right, moderate hull and section damage, low chance of causing hull cracks, low damage to crew. Now click the highlighted tab. These are upgrades and supplies. Uh, upgrades improve your ship. You can buy and sell upgrades in a similar way to weapons by dragging them to the correct slot. Special ship upgrades can shipwide upgrades can be dragged to the correct box on the right of the screen. You can buy and sell supplies in the highlighted box. Uh, clicking the minus buttons means you will sell supplies and receive the displayed amount of gold. Similarly, clicking on the plus icon will buy supplies at the displayed gold cost. You can improve performance of some sections by upgrading to a higher level. Increased helm will change the maneuver bar uh, at an increased rate. Higher mass will make your ships move faster when changing distance. And sick bay will um, is quicker at healing the crew. Those are very important to note here. <coughs> we'll probably be needing them later. You can browse new ships by selecting the highlighted tab. That's a shipwright. When you finish, go to port. Okay. We have, wow, there's all kinds of stuff. So we haven't been able, even able to get close enough to use the, the um, what is it, ramming uh, action. So I don't think we'll get the hull spikes. Wow, crew can flee to a lifeboat when the ship is destroyed. Unlocks when hull reaches zero health or water gauge is full. That sounds like a very nice precaution. Hull armor, though, this looks very good to me. Um, have we... We've been repaired. Okay. I'm very tempted to get the hull armor to reduce, reduce hull damage by 10%. It's going to save us money uh, in the long run. So let's go ahead and buy this. Okay. So we got that. All right. Uh, shipwright. Here we have uh, the variety of different ships that we could buy. Shows down here what their um, Capabilities are like different ones hold different amounts of cannons. Like these hold three, these have four. Uh, frigate has even more room for mortars, and uh, just the positioning of all these things on the ship. So the biggest looks like the man of war um, has the highest health, uh, hull health points here. And uh, you can customize the weapons you wish to carry over to the new ship on the customized page. That's kind of nice. So we're going to need a lot of money to get these bigger ships uh, if we want to. All right. Uh, do we want anything else? I don't think we can afford anything else. There's chain shot, which we already have. Grape shot, uh, round shot. Popular cannon, low damage. Is this what we have? Round shot? Round shot, yeah. Okay, so these are basically just the basic stuff that we already own. Um, should we get another cannon? I think we should for 30, 30 money. Let's buy it. 
And I don't know if we'll have enough money for a crew, but we'll see. Uh, let's return to port. Make your way to the Dockside Taverns and notice a few cultists. In the midday bustle, it's easy for you to slip by unnoticed. It's harder, however, to resist slipping your dagger into one of them. Approaching a tavern door, a hand grabs your shoulder. You pivot, primed to fight, only to be faced with your former crew. Captain, these cultists seem to have tarred us with your brush. We might all be safer together now. Plus, be ashamed if we were left out of the songs about you. They hand you a small, heavy pouch to put towards hiring an extra hand. Yes. Uh, you agree to meet back at the ship once you've checked for any potential recruits in the tavern. All right, you can dismiss current crew and hire new crew in the tavern. The bottom row displays your crew. The top row displays available crew. You hire crew by dragging their card um, from the top to the bottom here. So, what do we want um, in terms of skill? We can get... We don't need another navigator, for sure. Sailor repair stuff. I'm very tempted to get... We have another mortar, so we have another gun. So I'm thinking we'll get Louie. Do we have enough money? Yeah, we do. We have 127. He costs 100. Let's grab Louie and put him in here and uh, assign him to... I think we'll return to port. I can't click fast travel right now. Okay. You leave toward the docks, which are swarming with a growing crowd. Dozens of ships flying the cultists insignia are approaching. The curiosity and tension is palpable. Time to leave. Several ships seem to have had a similar idea, attempting to escape the incoming cult vessels. Some slow down and surrender, others speed past the blockade, while some engage in bloody battle. The cultist ship bearing down is bearing down fast doesn't leave you with much choice. Shot and steal, lads. Let's go. Okay, here we go. Back to battle again. We have a new crewman here. Let's put him on the mortar. And we're going to save this position. Save that here. All right, and start moving closer if we possibly can. Whoa, there we go. Nice. I think I'll send after a shot. Let's just shoot something. What do we want to shoot? We might want to shoot... Maybe... I'm unsure if I should shoot the, na the mast again or the navigation. Oh, oops, I forgot to right click. I left clicked and said, let's try to shoot between them. I don't know if that's going to work, but we can have a go for sure. All right, boom. Okay, we did get stuff between them. Excellent. Get that one going. Hit the sails. After we hit the sails, grab you and go over here. The grape shot. Uh, can I please? There you go. Okay, cool. All right, we got a little bit damaged there. Not too bad, though. All right, we're going to take these guys out. No problem, I hope. Okay, mortar shot again here. Boom. Okay. All right, and we're going to get these two guys with our grape shot. Yep, there they go. Oops, we have a little bit of an issue here. Captain, please go and fix this area. Oopsies, we have an issue now. Halifron are aquatic monsters that appear on cult vessels. They can dive into the water, swim at great speed, and board you. They are fearsome melee fighters. Be especially wary of Halifron with red skin. All right, we're going to keep on doing this. We're going to wait for that Halifron to get up here. Then we're going to attack it with everything we've got. Go and kill it, please. Our marine is there, which is great. Okay, the marine, I want you to go here. Actually, let's set everybody to go back, but get the marine to go here. Okay, you go ahead and get killed, dude. Okay, where's our marine? Marine, you did not go back here. I think I killed that one guy. He's yeah, he's he's healing up. That's okay. We'll be fine. Alright guys, keep on going. Let's see if we can do some more damage here. Nice. Let's kill these guys. Hit 
them all. Wow, that guy walked in at exactly the wrong time for him. Oh no, wow, 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 wow. Okay, Captain, go and fix this, please. I need to get me back here. Two people fixing this. Actually, go back there. Boom. There we go. We got him. Excellent. Okay. The fleeing vessel is dealt with. Three more cult ships tack toward you. You rapidly raise the sails. Hopefully we can outrun them. Now let's leave combat. Okay, the bar highlighted at the bottom of the screen represents how close the cult are to tracking you down. Once all the bars and the cult symbol are fully lit, you will be chased by either a cult ship, the Halifron, or the Kraken itself. When dealing with events using the cult symbol, you can decrease the bar by defeating the enemy. If, however, you flee, the cult will be upon you, uh, and the bar will increase. Okay. So what do we need to do? We, need, we have what four things to do? According to this thing. Okay, I guess we'll deal with them one at a time. You're in a direct course to come within range of an approaching cult vessel. Uh, let's go escape for now. Okay, there we go. You lose precious seconds when a crewman fumbles the rope and you quickly realize escape is no longer an option. No! All right, we're gonna have to fight them. Shouldn't be too bad though. Get a little bit closer. I may change this uh, closeness thing to be a different default if it turns out we like this. Okay. I am glad we got the hull armor though. That's a good thing. Oh. Halifron. Man, oh man, that's not good. Okay, I think we will go for navigation again and the cannons there. Get our marine manning this gun. At least we can charge it up. And he'll be closer to this. Oh, he... Alright, we, we didn't get the sails down. That's unfortunate. Okay, you... Okay, delete that guy. And you two also help him delete this guy. We want our mortar to be prioritized there. Little bit. Okay. Uh, go back to your stations, except for you, Marine. Go there, please. Alright, and keep charging all of these nice areas. Okay, mortar is ready. Okay, and you're done. Good. Oops. Okay. That's interesting. It kept the target from from before, I just, uh, I shouldn't have moved him before pausing, I guess. It's okay, though. We're good. Okay, more. More fun stuffs. There we go. Get that mortar to hit. Boom. Nice. Let's click this, get rid of their sails. Okay, oops. We have a problem. Um, get the captain to fix this leak. Oh wow, there's more leaks all over the place. Okay, mortar. I wish the mortar you could set an auto target and let it go. Okay, the captain. You go back to your guns and we're gonna let this guy um, bail the water. Pump the water out. Goodness, they are really getting a lot of cracks in our hull. Okay, come on. Let these guys go, go, go. Oh, wow, it landed short. That's unfortunate. Come on. 
one hit. Boom. Okay. Did something. Sails down. You can go ahead and go here. See if we can do some damage to the actual crew. Oopsies. Wow, we have this issue here. I see those sometimes when they're at the very edge. I feel like it's just a wave across there. That's the end of them. Great. Alright, our ship has definitely taken damage, but hopefully we can uh, <laughs> finish off good. Okay, your crew draws straws for who gets booty reclamation duty. No one likes delving for sodden booty. Alright, 22 money for that, which is not, not too bad. Not too good either, but it's okay. Okay, cult defeated. Timer decreased. I feel like this is a good time uh, to stop for this particular episode. I hope you've enjoyed it, and I am very interested in continuing our adventures in the next one. So thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time.